Hello everyone and welcome to Port of Call. I downloaded this game a while ago off Steam. It's like a free game of some kind, but it's been a while. I've just had it sitting here on my desktop, just kind of waiting for a chance to play, and since I figure I'll leave Don't Starve for a little bit just to get some cultivate opinions on who to play as next and to see if maybe the Shipwrecked expansion will be coming out. Uh, between the time I record this and the time it goes up. Anyway, yeah, let's give this a try. Alright, so keys to work. Left click. Okay, simple enough. Okay, so. Alright, just moving around here. So as I recall, your on some kind of ship, and I think the implication is that you're helping lost souls or something of that nature. Who wants this? Broken lantern. Lantern looks broken. No point in messing with it. Okay. Oh, hello, sir. Or madam. Can I help you? Howdy. Oi. Okay. Oi, you there. You're late. Uh... Where am I? Think you know perfectly well why you're here. On board of you, I'll see you in Get the bridge. On. Whoa, those are some long arms, sir. Uh, uh, where'd you come from? I also suspect the big plot twist in this is that we're going... Oh, there's achievements for this. I didn't know that. All aboard. Uh, uh, what? Okay. That was fast. We're already out at sea. But yeah, I think... I'm, I'm willing to bet the big plot twist in this is not only are we guiding the souls of the dead, but we are ourselves dead all along. Lines and shapes. Wouldn't have pegged him as an art guy. Once again, doing air quotes that you can't see. Someday I will get a web camera. <laughs> Globe. Maybe we're out in the middle of the Atlantic. Who knows? But yes. We will have to wait on... The webcam- oh, cool. Oh no. No, I- Oh dear. Apparently I can take every single one of these. Oh, what's this? Captain's log. This grudge doesn't seem very expressive on paper. Can I open it? No, apparently not. Rotary phone. It's a shame this thing is an antique. That is pretty cool. Oh, lighthouse. Wait a minute, so the the dock just it just disappeared and you're just kinda standing there. Alright. Oi. Oi to you as well. Alright, to business. I assume you know how to do your job? Get to it then. I'm the captain of this here hunk of scrap and I'll have no more dilly dallying. What are you talking about? <laughs> Great, they've sent me another idiot. I haven't the time to hold your hand while you learn to pick your nose. I have a ship to run. I guess I can start you off with a simple task, though. If it's not too hard for your wee little brain. I almost want to give this guy a Scottish accent now, but I'd probably just defend Scotsmen everywhere if I attempted that. <laughs> There's a little girl in the first cabin on the left. Go get her ticket. Little brat won't let me come within a foot of her without squealing like a babe. Come back to me when you're done. And if you're feeling a bit lost, feel free to come back and chat. I'll take care of you. Heh 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 heh. Okay. So what do you want to bet this is all grim? Mm-hmm. What is it? You got that brat's ticket already? Uh, will I ask questions later? So long. Um, hello. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. Is there a run button on this, by the way? I don't think so. This is... Presumably... A walking simulator-esque type game, where... The general idea is to walk around and just absorb the story. Ooh, floating book. Hey there, little girl. Oh my. You know, that face kind of reminds me of Hexadecimal. Anyone remember Reboot? Way back in the 90s? Well, not so much now that I see it all. But it did for a moment. <laughs> ah! Don't eat me! Oh, who are you? The ferryman sent me. Yes, don't pay the ferryman until he gets you to the other side. The boogeyman sent you. Are you going to eat me? 
I... <laughs> I just... I'm just here for your ticket, kid. I'm not a kid. I hate it when Marcus calls me that. Who's Marcus? I'm almost six and a half, thank you. Are you a scary friend of the boogeyman? He's a grouch, but he doesn't look like a monster. He stomps around and makes weird noises. That's scary. And weird. Yes, it is. Uh, speaking of weird, why are you here by yourself? I'm not sure. Thinking about it makes me feel funny. Oh, I was playing with Ted's. Who is Ted's? Ted's the teddy bear, probably? Yep, bestest bear in the world. My best friend. Last time I saw him, we were playing together and hiding from Marcus. Can you find Ted's? I'll give it a try, but uh... Who? Hello? Ooh. Grandfather clock. Ugh, ticking on these things always drives me nuts. Doesn't it just? Toy chest. There's something creepy about this chest. I can't jump. As far as I know. Viridian crayon? Mirror. Cutesy, but it doesn't do its job. That's true, there's no mirrors here. Oh. Lollipop. You. It looks like someone dropped their lollipop. Don't think anyone's gonna eat it now. Can I, uh, just... I'll just drop you in there. Hopefully, that did not cause any problem. Cerulean crayon. Oh, it's a ball in a cup. Too many hours are spent playing this game. Let's, uh... Excuse me, sir. In you go. Can I pick you up as well? In you go. Time to put all the toys away. Oh, what, what's it say? Choo-choo, I guess. Bit too old to be playing with toys. Oh, you're never too old to be playing with toys. That's just what... Old people or something want you to think. Doesn't look inhabited. Oh, that's a shame. What's with the floating... Oh. Hello. Okay. We are still looking for that teddy bear, though. Ooh, what's going on over here? A writer, huh? This handwriting is strangely familiar. Is it yours? Was I a writer? In life? But then I died a horrible, horrible death. After failing to pay the bills? Who knows? Okay. Oh, bouquet of flowers. How pleasant. How pleasant indeed. I don't know if we want to go in there yet. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's the teddy bear. Hello? Jeez. What's going on in here? The place is a mess. Not all these flying books. But as soon as I pick them up, they lose their magical ability to fly. Alright, let's let's not mess around with that too much. Do 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 oh. black and orange. Flames or a scaly surface? That's a good question. Pagoda Bridge. I never had a chance to really travel. Which is only semi true in for me in real life. I've actually had the pleasure to at least travel all around my own home country of Canada. Bit of the US as well. I really would like to see more of the world someday. Who knows, perhaps I will get that chance. But... No, that, that face really does kind of make me think of Hexadecimal. <laughs> oh, Ted's, I missed you so much. Hmm. The last thing I remember is me, Marcus, and Ted's were playing together while Mom and Dad were gone. So I'm assuming Marcus was your brother? Who is Marcus? Big brother. Nice, funny, and silly. And a dork. Yes, aren't we all? We were playing hide-and-seek when... What happened? Three of us were playing hide-and-seek. Marcus, Ted's, and me. Marcus was the seeker. Ted's had a great idea for a hiding spot, so I listened to him. Where did you hide? We went to go hide with the rest of Ted's friends in the toy chest. Oh dear. I climbed in, but the lid fell down, and it got dark. I got scared. The wooden lid was too heavy, and I couldn't lift it off. Where was Marcus? I don't know. I called for him. I think he was upstairs. It was so dark and I couldn't breathe. Who builds a toy chest that's airtight? Seriously. And then it hurt. Why didn't Marcus find me? I'm sure he looked for you. He was always he always liked being a seeker. I just don't know why he didn't find me. Do you think he wanted to find me? Oh dear. You know what? He probably did. He seems like a good kid, even though I've never met him. I think you're right. I remember hearing him call for me. I hope I see his dorky face again someday. Oh, oh, oh. 
Ooh, it's all bright in here. Yep, now I can understand why there was something creepy about that toy chest. Also, sorry if you can hear voices in the background. There seems to be some conversing going on outside. Excuse me, I'm just going to skip the line here. Mm-hmm. You got your first ticket. I guess you're not completely inept. Let's see. The girl Lily made it sound like she was dead. And? What of it? Ah, oh, don't tell me you feel sorry for her. See here, loads of kids off it every day. Wow, that's pretty brutal. And you don't give a rat's arse about any of them. Why would she be any different? What happens to her now? Hell if I know. Hell if I care. I just deliver the stiffs. Anything that happens afterwards is not my problem. Anyway, I got another job for you now, laddie. Use the lift at the end of the hallway, and go talk to the drunkard in the bar. I can't understand a thing the fat man says. And I don't have time for any more of your stupid questions. I really am tempted to attempt giving this guy some kind of Scottish-sounding accent, but I will refrain. Then again, maybe I could pull it off. I don't know. Probably not very well, but it might be amusing. Going up! This is a really classy boat, isn't it? Hello, 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 everyone! Ooh. Abstract flowers. At first glance, I thought it was just a painting of crumpled paper. It does look kind of like crumpled paper, doesn't it? Doodly doo doo doo. Ooh! Well, what's this? Ooh, a jukebox. My favorite. Play the next song on the juke. Okay. Oh, that's terrible. No list of songs, I'll have to try my luck. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Yeah, why not? It's terrible. Huh? Huh? What? Please don't tell me you've got a pig face over there. Not now. I'm waiting for the bartender, young man. I wish you'd get here soon. O okay. I'm the bartender. Didn't you know that? What's this? Draft faucets. Ooh, I wonder if they have any good beer. Good question. Ooh, I hope that doesn't get copyright claimed or something over there. That'd be awkward. Now this is vinyl. Oh, there you are. What kind of service is this? I've been waiting for ages, you know. I don't know what kind of voice I'm trying to give this guy with his weird butterfly face. What are you talking about? The ferryman sent me. Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> did he now? That old curmudgeon must have gotten sick of my nagging. Well, how about it then? Want to serve an old man a drink? I'll play along, I guess. What do you want? Cheers. Let's see, how about we start with something simple? Yeah, I think a gin and tonic will do nicely. I, I don't know how to make a gin and tonic. <laughs> um... Cabernet glass... Um... Um... <laughs> Oops. Oh. Bearded sailor. Juniper delight. Simple Quinn, William Orange, Potato Riot, Bearded Sailor, Blood Light. Not your pop soda pop. Um. Don't. <laughs> I don't know. Um. Nope. Here. Um. Hard of hearing? Gin and tonic, please. Um, I, I would gladly, if I knew what gin and tonic was. <laughs> okay. Orange juice. Okay. Completely ruined that. Ugh. It's not what I asked for. <laughs> Bad barkeep. Come on now, son. It's not that hard. Try again. Okay. Um, bearded sailor. And pop. Mixed cola with tonic. Okay, so I've... Okay. Okay, so... That's rum. That's gin. Oh. That's tonic. Oh, thank god. I wish they just called them what they were. <laughs> you said gin and tonic. Picked up the gin. Picked up the tonic. Gin and tonic. <sighs> That's the stuff. 
Now then, why don't you tell me about yourself? The ferryman told me everyone on the ship was dead. Do you think I'm dead? <laughs> well, you don't look quite dead to me, son. If that's so, you're in pretty good company. Most everyone on the ship's been dead for some time now. Well, except for the grouch in the raincoat. No one's quite sure about him. Do you remember how you died? Ah, uh, that's a story I've not told in a long time. And not one with a particularly happy ending, either. Sure you want to hear it? Go ahead. I, uh, had a daughter once a long time ago. Suffice to say, she died in an accident when she was young. Uh, my wife followed her soon after. Died of a broken heart, I guess. It was only me and my son then, and, well, I took to drinking. Eventually did me in. Anyway, you know what they say. You can only drink yourself to death once. <laughs> Cheers. Okay. Uh, how do I know if I'm dead? That's a question only you can answer, son. It's different for everyone. Give it some time, though. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Now then, how about another drink? Think I'm feeling some old-fashioned rum and cola this time. Okay. This was the... Was this the rum? No, that's... Rum... Co cola. Co... Yeah. <laughs> okay. So... Rum... And cola. Okay. <sighs> that's what I'm talking about. I'd tip you, well, if I had any money, that is. Now, what were we talking about? Look, I can't remember anything before getting on this boat. I can't even recall my name. Oh, oh I wouldn't worry about that too much. <laughs> Things like that have a tendency of floating back around. <laughs> Get it? Floating because we're on a boat and, uh... Ah, never mind. Anyway, I think it's time for another drink. Why don't we get a little fancier? How about some vodka with orange juice? Okay. Um, potato rot? Well, I know that vodka is potato, or is f made from, um, potato. William Orange is so, some kind of orange juice. Now I'm thinking with the old noodle. Hmm, that's some strong drink. Thanks, Marcus. I think I'm gonna take a nap now. Wait, what did you call me? Wait, am I Marcus? Wasn't that that little girl's brother? Uh, let's, uh take up Horace's ticket. And there's someone over here. What's going on here? Okay. okay. Going down. It's also probably about time to wrap this episode up. I think this is going to be a two-parter at least. Though maybe I'll let things run a little longer. Oh, it's this person again. Ma'am? Oh. No, doesn't want to talk to me. Excuse me, everyone. I'm just going to butt ahead of line here. Hey there, ferryman. Mm -hmm. I see you got the old drunk fool's ticket. Good job, I suppose. Right. Well, I don't have time to humor you every fancy right- or humor your every fancy right now. Choppy wires require my full- Wait a minute. The hell's that woman doing out on the bow? Oi! You there! Get off me bow! You're blocking the view! Bloody girl's not listening. Get out there and get her to move. I think I almost went for some kind of vague attempt at a- uh, what am I thinking, a cockney accent there for a split second? <laughs> Hello, ma'am. Hello. Ooh, that's a real hexadecimal face right there, all mask-like. You're the first person I've seen on this ship who doesn't look dead. But your face is blurry. Why are you here? I could ask you the same question. Excuse me, lady, I need your ticket. I've waited here for so long I've forgotten the need to speak. But you were just speaking. It's been difficult now. I'm waiting for someone to board the ship, so I've been holding on to my ticket. Someone. Yes. I can't remember exactly who he is or how he will get here, but I will wait for him. I just can't remember what he looks like. Have you tried walking around and talking to people? Spoken for everyone I know on the ship. They are innocent, delusional, and pessimistic. I believe one is a shadow of the person I'm looking for. Are you talking about the black silhouettes? I mean, shadow in a more figurative way. Those people that you cannot see are people you do not know. Oh. This person is someone I know, but he is not his whole self. Interesting. Yes, he is missing a large part of himself. His shadow feels like the embodiment of negativity. 
His mask haunts me. Did this person help you remember who you were looking for? I didn't speak to him for long. He didn't have anything helpful to say, mostly hurtful. I could not see his face, as he was wearing a mask like the others. Oh, is everyone wearing a mask? He does not sound very nice. I don't think I've met the guy. <laughs> He's not very nice. I don't think you would have. He's below the main deck in the boiler room. How'd you get down there? The lift only goes up. The elevator is a little strange. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Could you get me down there? If only I could. I can hardly move anymore. That's a... That is a load of lies. <laughs> this mask weighs on me, so... What's up with the masks, anyway? The masks seem to be our new identity as we travel on the ship. I don't feel like my body has any weight, but the mask burdens me. Ah, getting into some philosophical stuff here. Feels heavy in a way I've never felt. I don't know how much longer I can stay. Think of this person you are waiting for. Who is he? He was the one who waited with me in the hospital. I don't know how long I've been here, but it seems like I'm more familiar with this ship than any place else. Hmm. When I think about him now, I see the mask of the man in the boiler room. I don't know why, but it torments me. Maybe the ferryman has answers. No. He can't help me. Find the boiler man. I'm not going to last much longer. Marcus. Dun dun dun. And this is Alice. So, everyone seems to be tied to Marcus in some way. Lily, Horace, Alice, whoever's in the boiler room. Are we Marcus? Huh? Spoke to her, did you? Bloody annoying, isn't she? At least she's out of the way. Well, don't you have something you ought to be doing? I'm busy here, and you have business downstairs. Go on, get. Alright, so we will be doing that. I hope... I'm not sure if there's actually a save system in this, but uh, I'm gonna cut this video here, I reckon. So, for now, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Your support really does mean a lot. And, you know, let me know in the comments what you think about this game so far. I'm finding it pretty interesting. And when we come back next time, we'll be heading on down to the boiler room. See you then.